Why, hello, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on, guys? I'm not going to get all dramatic on the intro in this one, so let's get straight to the meat and potatoes. <laughs> or should I say, let's get straight to the soul's dried food, if you will. So you've made it far enough into the game. It's now time to make a little coin. You know, you're going to do your first trade run. Wait, what the f*** is a trade run? Okay, so here it is. Across the entire world in Arc Age, on all three continents, in every region, there's a specialty or multiple specialty products that can only be made in that region. More specifically, they can only be made at the specialty workbench within that region. Also, in most regions, there's an NPC whose title is Gold Trader. Their specific duty in the game is to purchase specialty products that were made in other regions then brought to their region. So, approaching the, uh, the specialty workbench in the Souls Reed Peninsula, uh, in order to produce Souls Reed dried food, it's, it asked me for grapes, uh, meat, and a quality certificate. I believe that's what it's called. Uh, so, I'm not going to go for this video's purpose, I'm not gonna, you know, grow grapes and grow some meat, uh, but just know that, that that meat can be had from um, pretty much any of the, the the animals that are sold at the livestock trader right across the grass here. Um, but what I'm going to do is just purchase some grapes, purchase the meat, uh, and purchase the um, certificate. And then I'm going to manufacture the soul's redried food and be on my merry way. Uh, now, because the pack on your back makes you move incredibly slow, it's very important that you understand where precisely you are going. Because one wrong turn, and uh, you are headed in the, the wrong direction. <laughs> one wrong turn can mean a, a lot of time lost in the game. All right? Um, so, so here we are, acquiring our products, uh, our, our, our bare goods, our, our base goods that we're going to manufacture our souls re dried food with, and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, if you're just starting out in the game, which is pretty apparent that you are if you're looking for this video on YouTube, um, if, if I seen that there was a demand for this video on YouTube, um, plant some grapes. Plant some, uh, I say plant, put some chickens down or some hens or some ducks. Um, you're going to need to have a, a, a recurring uh, a, re a recurring production, a, a production flow of, you know, basic items. And if you're not going to use those items, you, you know, you can put them in the auction house and then the money you make from those items, buy the items that you do need. Um, but but those basic items are the backbone of the economy in the game. So <clears throat> so like I said, once you have your items, you come to the specialty slot machine. I mean, it's a the specialty uh, workbench. It's this blue th blue looking item, and there you know. You can always use your uh, click M or type M on your keyboard and brings up your map and look at the items over to the right hand side. If you go and um, uncheck everything except for specialty uh, specialty workbench in whatever region that you're in, well anyways it would show them on, on any region. So um, direct your map to Souls Read and only have checked the, soul, the um, specialty workbench and that will show you exactly where it's at. Um, but now in instead of going to the left and heading west to where it is that we need to take this pack for the very first quest we are going to go right as in east because going east is going to take us to an airship it's about seven or eight minutes of a walk over in that place, Crescent Throne. <clears throat> now, Crescent Throne, I guess, is the, the city for the region of Souls Reed. Um, <clears throat> and it reminds me a lot of um, the major cities in World of Warcraft. And I know I shouldn't probably bring that game up in this video, but um, everyone knows that I played that game circa 
2007 or 8 and 9. Uh, but so um, now we're on our merry way east and ta-da! Through the power of magic, here we are automatically at Crescent Throne. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> don't make the same mistake I did. When I first came into Crescent Throne, I thought I was hot stuff and I went all the way across this mother looking for the airship. The airship is right next to the entrance to the city. Right next to it. So when you first come into the city, turn left, go up these little stairs, turn left again at the next set of stairs. It's the big tower with the big wing off of it, the, the big landing pad attachment thing that looks like a pier in the in the sky so uh, I seen it from the outside I don't know why I didn't just know to go there but anyways the airship travels uh, between here and our destination in a loop continuous loop and I believe there's only one because it takes a long time for this ship to travel specifically when we get on this ship from the time that this ship takes off, as in departs from this dock right here, it will be 9 minutes and 30 seconds later before we dock at our arrival destination. 9 minutes and 30 seconds. So you can pull out your phone, set you a stopwatch, get on this thing, 9 minutes and 30 seconds, be back from smoking your cigarette. And here, now that we've uh, finally got onto the ship. The ship is here. Uh, now we just wait for it to take off. And like I said, 9 minutes and 30 seconds after the ship departs is when we will be arriving. Um, and we're pretty much done with the quest. We're almost to the point where we've actually finished the tasks required in the quest. And uh, then we can uh, partake in the next session. The, ne the next part of the, the, uh, the quest. Uh, once we complete the next step is when we will get the donkey. We will get the donker. So, now that it's 9 minutes and 15, almost 9 minutes and 30 seconds later, we are arriving at our destination. Uh, once this uh, airship docks up here, uh, we're going to take the elevator down. Um, as you'll see here shortly. Just stick with me. Um. Essentially, it's important that we understand what's going on with trade runs. Uh, the more people that are doing a specific trade run or bringing a specific product from a one certain region to another specific region, uh, the value of those are going to decrease supply and demand. If you have a high supply, uh, well, the price goes down for the product because there's no demand. Uh, alternatively, if you decide um, to do a a trade run that no one is doing, and and the fact is there there are possibilities of you doing the trade runs that nobody else is doing. How does that happen? It, it happens because with there being I don't know the exact number, but 20 or 30 or 40 regions in the game, and <clears throat> each of those regions allowing you uh, having two specialty items. If you take any of the, any one of those specialty items to any other region, that's a trade run, and it's unique to itself. Um, so here we finished this trade run for three gold and nine silver. Which, if you're just now doing the first trade run, you're like, O M F G, what a lot of gold. But if you're like me and you spent three gold to do it, um, you're not so much shocked more than you are pissed. Uh, but um, that was it. That is how you do the first portion of the Souls Read Dried Food. Um, the next portion of the next portion of the the quest itself um, will be in the next video, and then you will see your donkey. <laughs>